Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, today uh, it's mid-October. Uh, we had a lot of rain over the last three days here in Ohio. And uh, I'm out here with a customer, shelled a little bit of corn here this morning. Uh, just wanted to test moisture and uh, get into this field. But I want to turn this around and talk to you guys about the Devastator. We get a lot of questions on how this thing handles mud and wetter conditions. And I'm going to flip it around and show you what we see in muddy conditions. As you can see, a big improvement that Yetter made with this Devastator is that they do not put the crimpers in between the row. And the reason for this is, is so that the mud has nothing to grab onto. If you look across this head, you can see there's a little bit of residue on the rollers, but there is uh, nothing that's actually building up. This is where the stalk runs, and so it, it stays clean. It, it's gonna stay extremely clean and shiny because that corn stalk is going to continually shine this up and hit it and, uh, and keep it clean. But in between those rows where there's actually uh, moisture and, and mud, there's nothing for the mud to actually grip onto because it's a smooth roller. Um, you can see that under here. If we zoom in on the next roller, there's a little bit of stuff uh, built up in the center, but that stuff pretty much stays clean. So what I'm saying is, even in muddy conditions, these devastators can handle it. You can see that uh, this field was a little bit tacky, but uh, overall, in these muddy conditions, the Yetter Devastators do a fine job of staying clean, crimping the stalks, and laying everything flat, just like you see here in this cornfield. All of this in the past would have been standing tall. Uh, you would have had tire damage. But if we look here, granted, these stalks are, are a little bit greener right now. But look at that fracture. That's what we're looking for that fracture and you can easily peel that open. You come back here, there's another, and look at these stalks. They are all still attached to the root ball. Granted, this corn is a little bit greener and it's a little wet, much like it is across the entire state of Ohio. But look at this fracture. You can just imagine how much moisture and weather is gonna get into this stalk over the next few months and really do a phenomenal job at, uh, at breaking down this stalk. That fracture is what we're looking for, and that's what we've got across this entire cornfield. So that's what we're doing today. Thanks for tuning in.